Tom Samlons, known around the guitar teaching circles as the master of teaching guitar. I've been teaching guitar lessons for over 40 years, and I've never had a student that really wanted to learn how to play, not learn how to play using uh, my method of learning guitar. If you're brand new to guitar, or you tried in the past for, for some reason you got uh, you gave up, got totally frustrated with it. I want to help you learn how to play the guitar. Um, the the problem with a lot of uh, courses and teachers on the internet, there's just too much out there. Um, when, when you go on the net, you start looking, trying to learn how to play play the guitar. You just get totally overwhelmed because they're leading you in a hundred different directions. This this teacher showed you this. This little fellow's playing a riff on a guitar. Uh, this guy's teaching you, saying you need to know bar chords. Just too much. If you're looking to learn how to play guitar fast and be able to play your favorite songs in a matter, uh, start playing your favorite songs in a matter of days, you have to have the proper course of instruction. Uh, and you have to keep it focused. Keep it very limited and very focused. And you will learn how to play the guitar. If, if you're looking to learn guitar and be able to play your favorite songs quick, fast, and easy, then I can help you. Uh, I want to share a few tips with you at first. Uh, this is not covered by a lot of uh, teachers and, and uh, hard, sometimes not, hard, not easy to find on the Internet. The, not one of the, the first things I want to emphasize when you start Every time you sit down to, to play your guitar, make sure it's in tune. And I strongly advise getting a little electronic tuner like the one I have here. And what it does, it, all you have to do is turn it on. It, it connects to the top of the headstock. It picks up off the vibration of the guitar neck. And all you have to do is hit the string, and it's going to show you what string you own. In this case, that would be the E. And you're going to have a digital readout. And when that digital readout gets in the middle for that string, whatever string it is, that string's in tune, then you just move right on down to each string. And when you're through, you're going to be in perfect tune. And they're so easy. It's so uh, so accurate also. Uh, this is the little Snark S-N-A-R-K S-M-1 tuner. Uh, I'll have a link down below uh, to a page of uh, guitar accessories that you might want to take a look at that I recommend getting when you're first starting out. The, the necessity, uh, the accessories necessary to really uh, learn how to play the guitar properly. But by all means, get you a little electronic tune. That's the easiest way to tune uh, and the most accurate way to tune. The second thing I want to talk about is on the cardi hand, the hand that actually will do the cardi here, the fingernails need to be trimmed, need to be sharp. Uh, so many, uh, like I say, instructors and, and teachers on the internet, courses on the internet do not address this. And it's the, one of the most important things when you're first learning how to play. You have to have sharp fingernails. If you don't, you, you'll not be able to press the strings down to the fretboard firmly enough to make them sound clear when you play a card. So keep them trimmed. Very, very, very important. Uh, one other thing, uh, I always uh, recommend getting a, a guitar strap where you're sitting or standing. Uh, put your guitar strap on your guitar, and when you're sitting, it's going to allow you to keep the guitar supported where it won't slide and maybe fall off your lap. Um, so another thing, guitar strap. Not a necessity, but uh, a good accessory to have. Uh, another thing, uh, if your guitar does not have new strings on it, change your strings when you first get started. Put your new set of strings on your guitar. Even if you have a brand new guitar that you just bought, change the strings because you don't know how long those strings have been on that guitar. From the time it was made to the time it was shipped to the wholesaler to the store and the time you bought it, they're probably already old. So get your good set of strings. I recommend the Martin. Uh, they come in different thicknesses. Uh, I recommend a light gauge or an extra light gauge. Phosphor browns. Uh, phosphor bronze, I'm sorry. Martin, 
light gauge or extra light gauge, phosphor bronze, acoustic guitar string. If you have an electric guitar, uh, I would recommend uh, a Fender uh, light gauge set of electric guitar strings made by Fender. Uh, so change your strings, get your good set of strings uh, on your guitar. One more tip I want to share with you. When you start making cards, when when you're making, let's say, a G card, and you have, have the sixth string on the third fret, okay, you'll want to press right next to the fret. In other words, one, two, three, right next to it. Not back here closer to the second fret, right next to the third fret. That will make it a lot easier to make the string sound clear. And also, um, it, it will be easier to press. Okay, easier to press and make it sound very clear and sharp. So keep that in mind. Um, and again, like I say, having the right course of instruction is, is the most important key. Uh, the traditional way of learning guitar uh, it's much a lot is a longer process uh, and it's going to take uh, you know weeks and months to learn a lot of your cards and your uh, card changes and uh, timing and all that sort of thing but what I'm going to show you uh, and share with you is my way of learning to play songs fast and being able to play cards fast and be changed from one card to the other smoothly and evenly. And I use what I call my magic four cards to do this. Uh, they are G, okay, C, D, and E minor. Now if you notice when I did that, the G to the C is a big, is a big movement by my fingers having to move to adjust to the C. Okay, then when I went to the D, same thing, C to D, big movement. D to E minor, same thing. My magic four cards are going to eliminate all that finger movement. It's going to eliminate it. And I'm going to show you a way to play those four cards, and only two fingers are going to be used. That you to uh, you'll have to move only two fingers to play all four cards. It's my magic four cards. It's the way I'm going to teach you. And with just those four chords, once you learn them, it's good to, like I say, practice them every day for uh, 15, 20 minutes a day, for five, six days a week. In a matter of just a few days, you're going to learn those four chords. You'll probably be making them sound clear, and you'll be able to change from one to the other smooth and evenly. Now below, I'm, I'm going to have a link to my magic four chords. And it's going to bring you to a page on my website, bestbeginnerguitarlessons.com. Uh, and there, it's going to, I have a video showing you the Magic Four chords and how to play them and how to change from one to the other. It's a completely free video. No, there's nothing to buy. And below the video, I've got a diagram, a card diagram, of the four Magic cards. And if you'll take those four... If you've got, if you've been looking all over the net and you've tried to go in a thousand different ways with a thousand different uh, types of things and bar cards and uh, scales and that sort of thing, push all that to the side right now. If you want to learn songs and learn how to play guitar by, by playing songs, this is the way to go. And you'll be able to jump on these cards, play them, play songs in no time at all. So push anything you've been look, trying to uh, learn from out of the way. Focus here on what I'm going to show you, and uh, you'll learn how to play the guitar. I've got a lot of tips and tricks and uh, lessons here on my YouTube page, uh, YouTube channel. Go through them. You'll find a lot of free information that's going to help you. Uh, but these Magic Four cards is where you really need to start with. Learn these cards, start playing some songs, and you'll just be using four cards. You'll be able to play hundreds of songs. And then, once you learn to play these songs, and play some songs using them, uh, I'll show you how to use uh, a capo. And you can change keys of the song to where you can still use these same four chords to play then even thousands of songs. So that's the key. Having the right course, 
having the right person teaching. And like I say, I've got plenty of experience. Uh, I've been been doing this for, like I said, over 40 years. And right now, I'm, I, I, love my, I love teaching guitar more than I ever have in all the years I've been teaching. Um, I, I really enjoy helping people. That's why I started the YouTube channel. Uh, it's to reach out to those of you wherever you are, whether you, you're here in the States or overseas uh, somewhere. Uh, I want to help as many people as I can. And I want to do it uh, in a way that you don't have to spend a bunch of money to do it. If you follow my directions here and do, start with these four cards, you'll learn how to play and be playing songs in no time. And uh, leave your comments down below if this video, if you enjoyed this video, you got some benefit uh, from it, leave your comments down below in the comment section. I always enjoy hearing from you. If you have any questions about learning how to play guitar, leave those in the comments. I'll answer your questions best I can. Uh, but I'm here to help you learn how to play. That's what I want to do. I am committed to help you learn how to play. Like I say, just forget if you been frustrated and you're not making any progress. Today's your day to start in, in a matter of days. Before the end of this week, you'll be playing four cards and you'll be playing some songs. But 15 minutes, 20 minutes a day, six days a week. If you'll stay on that practice routine, don't over practice. Don't try to practice the hour, two hours at a city. Too much. You want to just 15, 20 minutes a day consistently every day and that way you'll get your fingers won't get too sore because you'll experience some finger soreness but they won't get too sore by doing it that way in small increments and each day you touch the guitar uh it's gonna it's gonna keep you motivated wanting to keep going and once you get these four cards down and play your first few songs the sky's the limit from that point on uh, when, when you're at home, uh, put your guitar out on a guitar stand in, in your bedroom or your living room, wherever you spend the most time. Put it out on the stand. That way, you'll see it and you'll be more apt to pick it up and play it rather than putting it in a case or gig bag, put it underneath your bed or in the closet. Uh, put it out on the stand, hang it on the wall hanger, guitar wall hanger, where you can see it, visibly see it. That way, you'll pick it up. Uh, chances are you'll pick it up when you walk in the room. Play it for 10, 15 minutes, and that will greatly increase uh, your ability to play card and songs even further. Uh, I think that's it for today. Uh, hope these tips have helped you. Don't forget, down below, Magic Four Cards will take you to a learning video showing you how to play the Magic Four Cards, how to move from one to the other. Uh, also, it's going to have a card diagram. And uh, till next time. Let's go play some guitar.